Hello, Chini UMC and friends. Welcome to this week's Lectio Divina. An absolutely stunning afternoon here in eastern Washington. Let's get started. Um, today's scripture for the, to this week's Lectio is from the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verses, 10, verse, uh, lot, verses 105 to 112. We'll get started. This week's welcoming words come from Meister Eckhart. Above all else, know this. Be prepared, be, pre, be prepared at all times for the gifts of God and be ready always for new ones. For God is a thousand times more ready to give than we are to receive. As we listen prayerfully to God's word today, I invite you to take time to quiet yourself and, and the place you're in so that you can be fully in the presence of the one who knows you, sees you, and loves you. Take a moment to stretch out your legs. Maybe take your shoes off. Get very comfortable. Close your eyes for a moment and inhale slowly through your nose for a two count. And exhale out of your mouth for a three count. This is a prayer time of, of stillness, quietness, contemplation, prayer with God, a very intimate time, a time that will open you to God's presence in your life. As the scripture is read today, allow a word or phrase, or perhaps it's an image or a feeling to touch you, to speak to you. Allow that phrase or word or feeling or image to touch you in the deepest areas of your heart. This is a time of prayer and conversation and complete honesty between you and God. Today's scripture, Psalm 119, verses 105 through 112, will be read three times. After each reading, use the silence that follows to reflect on that word or that phrase or image or feeling and consider it as a spiritual gift from God that he wants you to use. Ask God how to use this spiritual gift. It is part of today's prayer. As we begin, ask God to bring his word to life in you and through you through the power of the Holy Spirit. If nothing speaks to you or you're uncertain of what you're doing, pray boldly and without hesitation to God with unbelievable faith. God will answer you trust that God understands you. There will be a period of silence following each reading to really listen with the ears of your heart. If your mind wanders, slowly bring it back to your listening to the scripture as we receive this gift of scripture from God. Let us pray. Holy One, our rock, Blessed are we today to spend time with you and your written word. We pay, pray for the courage to speak frankly, openly, and deeply with you during this time as your astounding love flows to us without a second thought. May we bring our joys and concerns to you during this prayer time as we know you understand our lives far more than we can ever imagine. It is in this trust that we place ourselves in your hands today and every day. Listen to God's word. Your lamp is a light before my feet and a light for my journey. I have sworn and I fully mean it. I will keep your righteous rules. I have been suffering so much, Lord. Make me live again according to your promise. Please, Lord, Accept my spontaneous gifts of praise. Teach me your rules. Through my, though my life is constantly in danger, I won't forget your instruction. Though the wicked have set up a trap for me, I won't stray from your precepts. Your laws are my possession forever because they are my heart's joy. I have decided to keep your statutes forever, every last one to the very end.
as you listen a second time to our scripture, allow that word or phrase or, or feeling or image that, taught, that touched you or caught your attention somehow and let it continue to stir your thoughts or feelings. In your mind's eye, consider what you see when you shine a light on that word or that feeling or phrase. Go slowly, allow God time to say all that he wants to say to you today. Your word is a lamp before my feet and a light for my journey. I have sworn, and I fully mean it, I will keep your righteous rules. I have been suffering so much, Lord, make me live again according to your promise. Please, Lord, accept my spontaneous gifts of praise. Teach me your rules. Though my life is constantly in danger, I won't forget your instruction. Though the wicked have set up a trap for me, I won't stray from your precepts. Your laws are my possession forever because they are my heart's joy. I have decided to keep your statutes forever, every last one, to the very end. Talk honestly with God about what you're feeling. Listen for his invitations to you. How are you being called to respond to God's word? What do you need from God right now? Your word is a lamp before my feet and a light for my journey. I have sworn and I fully mean it I will keep your righteous rules. I have been suffering so much, Lord, make me live again in according to your promise. Please, Lord, accept my spontaneous gifts of praise. Teach me your rules. Though my life is constantly in danger, I won't forget your instruction. Though the wicked have set up a trap for me, I won't stray from your precepts. Your laws are my possession forever because they are my heart's joy. I have decided to keep your statutes forever, every last one to the very end. Rest now in the presence of the one who knows you, sees you, 
and loves you. Use the language of silence for this time of conversation with God. Spend a few moments in God's presence, resting quietly as you feel this closeness with God. Contemplation, or simply just being, is encouraged for a short while. Life's many tasks are still waiting. They can still wait. As you appreciate this communion of this union with God through the blessing of his holy scripture. Let us pray. Holy One, our rock, we give great thanks to you, your Son, and the Holy Spirit. May our conversation with you this day continue to serve as our true guide as we move from this time of prayer and contemplation to a time of sacred action in the turbulent and creative world in which we live. Amen.